Hey everyone, welcome back to Nerding IO. My name is JD, and today what we're going to be doing is continuing our video on taking a niche scoring template and then putting it into a cold call email. So this is specifically for people that are um, that have maybe have a development background but are looking to build an AI automation uh, company and what kind of marketing uh, you could do specifically once you have a niche. So if you haven't gone through our process of the, uh, the niche scoring template, make sure you check out our first video. Other than that, let's go ahead and dive in. So the first thing to remember is that we have this color-coded niche template. Yours may look a little different, but basically we have a scoring chart that allows us to look at this particular uh, niche. And what we're going to do now is we're going to look at the email tab in this template. So if we go ahead and click the email tab, basically we're getting a prompt that's going to generate uh, five different email templates. And then we can use that to put this into Instantly, which is a email cold call system. So you'll kind of notice again that we're using uh, prompts and we have some parameters. We're actually pulling some of the parameters from these other tabs in order to make this dynamic prompt. One of the big things that we're going to be doing is you'll notice here, like it already is pulling in our, our real estate uh, sector from our scoring template. So it basically goes back and pulls this top row in order to, to generate the prompt. And then the biggest thing though, is we're going to be using the ADA model. And what that means is when you're trying to drum up uh, interest, you're going to have awareness, interest, desire, and action. And we're kind of separating that out into multiple different uh, emails in a sequence. So let's go ahead and dive in. So now that we've taken a look at our template, we're going to go ahead and set up the campaign in order to make these cold calls or, or emails. And so the tool we're gonna to use is Instly, and it allows you to basically do a sequence of emails. So the first thing to note is that you get 25 leads and a free warm up, which is included for, you get a 14 day trial. So we'll go ahead and log in and we'll look at an email account. And so, the first thing to notice is that we're, we're actually warming up this email account. And what that means is that you're sending for back and forth emails so that it's increasing your score so you don't get caught in spam. So you wanna make sure you let this run probably for about two weeks is what they suggest. Uh, and in order to get a email in here, you just click add new. They have a, a bunch of different ways you can set up. Make sure you follow their docs. They're really good, super helpful and um, they can, uh, they'll, they'll help you get it set up really quickly. So the next thing that we wanna do is do a campaign. And so we have a cam campaign set up here. You can just go ahead and click new and create one. When we go to, and then we'll go to our lead finder. So the point of the lead finder is to basically look through things like LinkedIn or emails that can be scraped. And they have these different filters. And you'll notice that these filters are very similar to the, the positions as well as the size of the company and particular keywords that we might wanna look at from our scoring sheet. So for instance, we know based on our scoring sheet that we're going to be using a, uh, we'll be doing a real estate industry real estate. It's already going to start um, putting the, the list together. We can even define the location. You can also put in all these different job titles. We might do something like director of sales or something. Um, and then what we can, since we have this minimized list, we'll just go ahead and, and click a couple. Looks like there's a, a good amount in compass. So we'll just add a few more. 
we can add these to our campaign. And now what we'll do, we'll have is, is basically the ability to look at these leads and see which ones are verified and which ones aren't. And then actually, uh, create a sequence. So when we create a sequence, this is like a multi-step email process. And what we're going to do is we are actually going to look at ChatGPT based on our prompt that we created to have it generate these emails. So if we go back to our template, we go ahead and click our prompt. So command C, this is what we had up beforehand. We're going to go through and uh, have it generate the, the name. It's going through and creating each one of these uh, templates, essentially. And we can copy and paste them into Instly. So what we're doing is <clears throat> we're defining um, our subject line, which we want to be our, our catch. Then we'll copy our information here and we can swap this out for our first name. We'll just move that down here. And then we can put our, our name. And so then we can continue this for each one of the, the emails in the sequence. Obviously, you're going to want to refine this a little bit more, make it specific to uh, what you're looking for. Don't just copy and paste it straight from Jet GPT. This is really just supposed to give you a baseline, but you can continue. So again, this is just for demo purposes. We'll go ahead and continue our copying our sequence. You can leave the, if you leave this blank, then it'll actually uh, just pull the, uh, the same subject line from before. So basically we're trying to do a follow-up. This is also telling you how many days out you should do. So we'll do this one as three, so that's five. And then we can do seven. So now we pasted it here and we'll grab our last final attempt and we can create our last step. Again, this is just a, uh, a template please make sure you, you kind of rework the wording and, and make sure that there's good calls to action and, and things like that. So this is just to show you the sequence. So basically what we're having is our uh, first day pitch, our follow-up email, we'll have our, so we're switching this to five days and then seven days and then 10 days is the, the last one. And so now we have our first day, our follow-up, our reinforcement, our follow-up and our re reinforcement, and then our final follow or final uh, attempt. So after this, we can, uh, so, so we need to save, and then we can uh, look at our schedule. So by default, it gives you Monday through Friday, uh, which is the most opportune time, and then what time of day you would want to actually reach out. So this is super important if you're picking a certain areas, uh, for instance, in the U.S. or even a, in other countries, you would want to set the timing for this, but you would also want to search your leads for that particular time zone 
and have them be sent at a, at, in that time frame. And then lastly, you would just click uh, to start your campaign and it'll let you send up to 50 emails per day uh, just to start. And you can up that based on whatever tier you're at. So with that, I just want to kind of recap what we learned. So we learned that we can use the template to basically generate a prompt in order to create a sequence of emails that we can use for cold calling based on the niche scoring template that we saw in the previous video. Again, if you haven't seen that, please, please take a look so that you can uh, go through those steps. Um, if you have any questions, please, please them, leave them in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions about the template, uh, just let me know. Thanks.